Hello, I'm Kirsty Beer and I am going to be talking to you for um, about 10 minutes about our project within NTU and our development of what we call our, a cultural collaboration. So it's about not just collaboration with um, people with lived experience um, as a choice, but as something that we do as part of our culture. And that's what we're trying to develop. It's more than just patient and public involvement for us. Um, in terms of the organisational tick boxing or professional body tick, tick boxing, this is about an intrinsic and natural use of the resources of both experts by experience and experts by profession working together as a norm. Um, so, so far we've got policy in place and we've got funding ring fenced to pay for this um, and we're now starting on the road of culture development. So I'm just going to start by giving you a little bit of context to our journey. Um, so we're uh, only um, become, formed as a Department of Health and Allied Professions in uh, 2019 um, after having um, getting started in health uh, CPD provision um, for paramedicine and also for um, CPD for health professionals such as nurses. Um, within our local trust um, that, and that has developed into us becoming um, validated to be a, um, a recognised body for a undergraduate nurse training as well. And we're hoping to do many other things um, within the department. So we're starting as we mean to go on, um, which to become intrinsically, uh, to be intrinsically inclusive um, and to to either change or develop a culture requires long-term strategy and commitment. Um, and we are trying to ensure that our department um, and also NTU makes this part of the culture, rather than it just being whenever people are facilitated or encouraged to practice for quality and professional requirements. So we've set out um, a policy and um, we are currently writing job and role descriptors as we speak for the people who, uh, for the community group, that, um, which is what we call it, um, where we will have a strategy group and we'll have operational um, people within the um, group to do the kind of uh, getting involved in teaching and learning and research and things like that as well. Um, and uh, so we've set a names and value base and we're um, starting from that point. So just to give a little bit of context to the actual issue, um, I, the, this has come from um, something that I'm sure you're all very um, a, involved in already, um, but this challenge of the traditional approach towards education and healthcare that, um, that non-professionals are not able to um, be part of the development of this and that they're, they, they, we're trying to challenge the um, assumption that they can't be part of the education process of healthcare professionals or health and social care professionals indeed. Um, so we're challenging that and we're looking at um, seeing actually service users and carers and people with lived experience are not passive recipients, they are indeed experts by experience. And as you know, over the last 20 to 30 years, service user impairment has increasingly challenged this assumption um, and it's developed through many iterations such as your service user involvement, user engagement, carer involvement, participation, etc. All of these approaches have been limited by the inequality um, at the roots. It tends to be um, that the NMC or the directing professional body um, a, directs how things are done and, how, and the standards that we meet. Um, there's a lack of reciprocity, if you like, in determining the areas that need consultation or indeed what that consultation consists of. So working together um, is a step further in professional bodies relinquishing their power base and starts from a point of equality of purpose, direction, management and governance. We believe that this should always be strategic level of the, uh, at the strategic level of the organisation. And that ensures that the community involvement is neither nominal or tokenistic. Empowerment of communities is a key NTU goal, and this is reflected in the development of our strategy of community involvement. Um, and we are committed to co-production at a local level to ensure that this is a cultural norm for our department and hopefully eventually our wider university. 
we've worked together as a community already um, and we maintain certain principles and part of our development as a strategy group was to set out um, some commitments to each other um, and we set out as we um, statements of commitment which are about making sure that people have um, equal rights and decision making value within the context of the group that members have the opportunity um, to grow personally and professionally, that their members of the community are able to be part of a system of progressive education and ultimately contribute to higher quality care, and also that members are empowered within the group to challenge and develop the areas considered. So we do this from not just an ethical point of view, um, but from a, a legal uh, or legislative point of view and policy point of view as well as you can see on the we statements so we view any person within that criteria as part of our um, organization as significant within our organization uh, we respect their individual contribution to strategic level of planning and we also uphold and honor the legislative rights that people have and we ensure that um, our values are facilitated by this philosophy or approach. So members have um, access to this uh, way of working as, as a part of being part of the team rather than just being added in whenever we um, think we need them. So ultimately this is about finding ways to reciprocate learning, development and functioning together and communicating with our experts of profession and our experts of experience. So my hopes for the future are that we can find a model which is um, a, encompassing all of that expertise and valuing all of that expertise and not just on a kind of um, as required basis or a, in a tokenistic way. It's about making this, this is what we do here. We don't do anything, we don't, kind of decide when we want service users or people with lived experience involved. This is part of what we do. It's part of our system. And part of that for me is more than just um, uh, the, the expert by experience coming into the university um, and being part of us. It's about us working with clinical practice and um, us being in practice um, clinicians being in any NTU and also experts by experience being in both places and, and being involved with each other in that way. So the presentation is a developmental discussion and we invite your guidance to help us to do this. It is in no way a completed project which I'm reporting on today. I look forward to hearing your feedback or comments this evening um, in the forum uh, and we're in the education forum at seven o'clock um, to discuss these areas which are around our hopes for the future and what we think it's going we're, where we're going to get to with this and um, we have our next stage is about recruitment of members into our um, department and we're hoping that we can start doing that soon we've um, identified key roles and role descriptors um, but overall we're started on the agenda of trying to embed this into what we do as part of our culture so i look forward to talking with you later on and thank you for listening goodbye